So iHome is one of those um, brand names that has been riding the Apple wave <laughs> ever since the iPod came out, and uh, or almost as long it seems. And what they basically do is they produce accessories that complement Apple products. I mean that's kind of a, a smart business model as long as as long as Apple is in business. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, here's the FM antenna. They cut that off, too, the bastards. Um, we can fix that. But before I do anything like that, I'm going to get it powered up and see if it even works. So that means I've got to replace the power cord. Kind of a waste of time, if you ask me, because it may not even work, but you kind of need to have this in my kitchen. There's the iPod dock. You know, motorized, of course has provisions for remote control of course we don't have that um, so I've got to get this cord off that where it goes oh okay I can just latch right onto that I can just take this board off and solder a new cord in there no problem no big deal oh my cake is done let's see where's my toothpicks in there See if the cake's done. It should come out dry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I would say it's done. Probably leave it in there for another five minutes. But no, it came out pretty pretty clean and dry, so that's good sign. So, five minutes. Okay, back to our project. Um, yeah, so I gotta take this board off. And I'm gonna unsolder those two lugs. Solder the new cord. I'm trying to match, uh, hot and neutral, and um, it looks like it doesn't even matter on this device, honestly. Okay, whoa, what? It's wired backwards, look at this, AC out, I'd say that's AC in, and it says AC in, which is really AC out. No kidding. All right, well, hey, they couldn't get it right. Cake's done. Um, yeah, this, okay, I'll explain that. Um, one of my coworkers bakes cakes professionally, and she said that after you bake the cake to flatten it down, in this case, I need it flat, she suggests putting an equally sized pan on top of it and crushing it down, which works great. I did it before, but I should have greased the pan first with butter so it doesn't stick to the cake. That was the one step I forgot to do, but that's all right. This is being covered with pudding and crushed pineapple and whipped cream. Yummy. Okay, we've got the cord replaced. I plugged it in and I'm getting a date and time. Telling you that the battery is dead, which it is. There aren't any. Turn it on. Let's see if we get any music. There's no antenna. So... Volume seems to work okay. Tuning. Scan. We'll, we'll want to know the outcome of Sounds this. Sounds pretty good. Uh, it, it definitely uh, it goes to the liability of anyone who produces a, a, a reality television show, particularly a, 
those in the in the competition need an iPod. genre. And now I have a startup that's doing an interactive kids show. Scotty is giving us our first lesson in Foley. There's a storied history of Foley, you know, back from the radio days and you know a little bit of live theater, but there's a lot of tricks that just get handed down like folklore. And if you want to try this at home, you can. Uh, a pan full of cornmeal for steps walking on, on gravel or uh, a box of cornstarch for, for snow, for like crunching snow. If you're really committed, you can try this too. Other stuff are devices that get built, like a small door that you can use for, um, you know, opening and closing door sounds or... It suck. There's got to be another way to control this thing. It's like it's in shuffle. It really works really well. There's got to be a way to change the. Um, the button down. with an iPod shuffle. I have the shuffle here. And the power cable is probably in here somewhere. I mean, the, oh, there it is. The USB dongle. Alright. So let's plug this baby in. Underneath here. Where the iPod shuffle dock is. Alright. Let's see. It does charge the iPod shuffle. No iPod. Um, really? Really? It doesn't like the shuffle. Um, hmm. Partly clap. It doesn't like the shuffle. It's not down with the shuffleness. But it will charge it, so that's kind of cool. And of course, the shuffle can't hook up to the. You know, I just thought of something. When this device was designed, it was designed for the little iPod shuffle uh, thumb drive looking thing and not of, for this one. So that might be a problem. I mean, it won't detect it. But just charging it, that's interesting. Huh. Pretty cool device. It works. And that's half the battle, right? So, um, hmm, really cool. Uh, I better put it back together. I'm not, now I need to find a place to put it. 
I thought about putting it right here above the kitchen sink. I think that'd be a nice place for it. And I could move my towel rack above the toaster oven where it's nice and safe. Right? No, I think it's a bad idea. Uh, I could put this right above the sink. I mean the toaster oven. And I could probably move things around, but it kind of limits my counter space. I don't think I like that. Hmm. I'll have to figure this out.